Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. I am standing here outside my office at Monroe Community College and um, it's kind of a big day for me and um, I guess for Bright Line Eating too, I want to invite you inside here. Welcome to my office. This has um, been my office for, oh my goodness, nine years? Something like nine years? Um, I just want to share with you a little bit about what's going on here. Um, I'm here with my former student, Jen Moon. She's now um, uh, an employee of Brightline Eating. She works in the content creation area with me. Um, and she took classes with me here at MCC, um, three different classes over a span of years, starting a long time ago. And um, What's happening this week is that I'm moving out of my office here and um, packing all this stuff up into storage until I find a new office and um, ending my career as a professor. And this week is also the two week anniversary, two year, two year anniversary of Brightline Eating. Um, August 5th is the two year anniversary of Brightline Eating and um, I've been a professor here for nine years and before that I was a professor for two years at Hobart and William Smith colleges and before that I did my postdoc for two years and taught full-time at the University of New South Wales in Sydney Australia and before that I taught some college courses at the University of Rochester so it's um, over 13 years that I've been teaching at the college and university level and um, and um, that career is coming to an end today. And um, I wanted to share that with you a little bit because my doing Bright Line Eating very much comes out of me being a professor. I love to teach and I've known that about myself for a long, long time. And I'm, I'm good at it. I feel like it's one of the gifts that I have to bring to the world is explaining stuff in a way that helps people to understand themselves and their lives and um, you know, over the 13 years that I taught at the college level, I probably taught something like 10,000 students, something like that. And in two short years in Bright Line Eating, 6,500 people have gone through our courses and two th wait, what is it? 226,000 people are on the Bright Line Eating email list, which means that, um, you know, 226,000 people, that's a reach. I, I just have the the potential to reach people with bright line eating that I just didn't have in a small college setting. You know, in a college you only can teach so many students each semester and the curriculum is very defined. And um, so I, I just reached this point where it just felt like this tug where um, bright line eating just grew so fast, way faster than I ever anticipated. And with my three little kids and um, my life as a professor, I just couldn't do it at all. I couldn't support this movement and teach my courses and mother my kids. I couldn't do it all. So I think um, where I relate this to your Bright Line Eating journey is um, life is trade-offs. And oftentimes we have to give something up that has a lot of aspects to it that we love. So for example, I know I coach a lot of people in Bright Line Eating who have as a big part of their identity that they're a baker or that they are known as being a really good cook or they love recipes or they love, you know, they love food. They love, they love working with food in the kitchen. And um, when they face the prospect of doing Bright Line Eating, they start to think, who will I be without this aspect of myself? Could I really give that up? And um, I often talk to them about embracing the sadness of that, that, that there is a loss there, that it, it would, we would be remiss to just skip by that and say, oh, but look, you're going to be happy, thin and free and you need to lose weight and you want to be healthier and don't worry about that. You've got this better thing to move on to, which is true, but um, there's loss and grief in the things that we leave behind, even if we know that moving on from them is right. So I'm about to put all this stuff in boxes with Jen's help and um, celebrate the two year anniversary of Bright Line Eating and let go of something that's meant a lot to me. 
I really thought that when I found my career as a professor that I had found what I would do for the rest of my life, you know, till my retirement day, or I didn't even picture retiring, just keep teaching. I love teaching. And um, I think what I want to say about that is thank you for letting me, in whatever small way that I do, teach you and share information with you because it's what I most love to do in the world is to find cool stuff and share it with people because <laughs> there's so much great knowledge and information and wisdom and stuff out there in the world and I just love teaching. So um, this week I stopped being a professor. I'll probably still call myself a professor um, my friends have told me that that's okay, that it's not out of integrity for me to call myself a professor. I got tenure, I got promoted. I think that's going to be a part of my identity forever, probably. And I might in the future associate with some other college or university. I would be very open to that. But um, this college is a teaching college. And, um, you know, I was taking up a tenure line. Like, they can't have me taking up a tenure line if I can't teach you know, four or five classes a semester. That's the way it works here. So I had to hand back tenure and move on my way. So anyway, um, one last thing about these tiers. It's one of the best things about Bright Line Eating is that it gets our systems really clean so that we get to feel the appropriate feelings at the appropriate time. So what I'm going to do is cry about this today because it's sad and I'm going to feel whatever feelings need to be felt about it and then I'm not going to be sitting in therapy in five years talking about it because I will have felt it at the time and that's one of the beautiful things of not stuffing down feelings with food is I get to feel them when they happen. All these feelings are real in the moment. They're true. I feel them. And then my emotional pipe is clean so that the joy can come in right after that too. So that's the weekly vlog. If you have something you want me to address on the weekly vlog, just send it in. I'd be happy to teach you about whatever you want to know. I'm at Susan at brightlineeating.com. I'll see you next week.